So the state of New York has introduced a new bill and it aims to restrict the sale and purchase of so-called assault weapon and munition. So let's talk about this. But real quick, before we jump into this video, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, which is Kershaw Knives. Kershaw manufactures close to a million knives in their US factory every single year. Kershaw produces a broad range of knives to meet every single person's needs. You can get a $20 Walmart knife or their new US made uh, 2023 line, which included a US made automatic knife. Kershaw always makes high quality, durable, and aesthetically pleasing knives. So I highly recommend Kershaw knives. I carry one of their knives every single day for my EDC. And right now, if you order on their website and you use the code 20 scholar, you can get 20% off of your order and also free shipping on orders of $100 or more. So head on over to Kershaw, use that code, and thank you again to Kershaw Knives for sponsoring this video. How's it going everyone? My name is Anthony Miranda. I am a licensed and practicing attorney in the state of California with an emphasis on Second Amendment rights. I've been part of Second Amendment litigation both at a state level and a national level while serving as a staff attorney with the Firearms Policy Coalition legal team. My goal with these videos is not to provide you any legal advice, but instead to help you understand what's currently going on in the battle for our right to keep and bear arms. Like I mentioned in the intro, in this video, we will be discussing an insane gun control bill which was introduced in the state of New York, which seeks to restrict how many rounds of so-called assault weapons ammunition a person can actually buy. The bill we will be discussing in this video is Senate Bill S-929, which was introduced by Senator Persaud. The bill states it will amend the penal law in relation to the sale of ammunition for so-called assault weapons. The text of this bill states, sales of ammunition not prohibited. Nothing contained in this section shall be construed to prevent or interfere in any way with the sale of ammunition for revolvers or pistols of any kind, or for rifles, shotguns, or other arms, belonging or which may belong to any persons, whether as sporting or hunting weapons, or for the purposes of protection to them in their homes or as they may go abroad. And manufacturers are authorized to continue the manufacture and wholesalers and dealers to continue to deal in and freely to sell ammunition to all such persons for such purposes. But then there's a catch. It says provided, however, the sale of ammunition for assault weapons as defined by subdivision 22 of section 265.00 of this title shall be limited to two times the capacity of an authorized weapon over a 120 day period. For the purposes of this subdivision, authorized weapon shall mean a weapon registered in accordance with subdivision 17 of section 400.00 of this chapter. Notwithstanding any law, rule, or regulation to the contrary, the violation of the subdivision shall constitute a class E felony and the act is set to take effective immediately once it's passed. So that is what this new assault weapon ammunition bill states in the state of New York. So let's unpack this a little bit and see what it's actually trying to do. First, it says nothing in it shall ban the sale of revolver, pistol, rifle, or shotgun ammunition, but instead it will only restrict the ability for you to purchase or for a dealer to sell assault weapons ammunition. However, as we have seen in states like New York and others, the legal definition of an assault weapon is very fluid. Under the SAFE Act, there are AR pistols that could fall under the definition of a so-called assault weapon. So maybe that means nine millimeter ammunition could be restricted since it's ammo that could be used in a legally defined New York assault weapon. There are also certain semi-automatic shotgun styles that could also be deemed to be so-called assault weapons within the state of New York. So although it says it will not restrict the type of ammunition in rifles, revolvers, shotguns, things like that, it then says it will restrict the sale of ammunition that can be used in so-called assault weapons. And as I just demonstrated, the definition of assault weapon is very broad and does not just restrict uh, AR style rifles. However, I do believe the main focus of this will likely be traditional 223, 556 AR ammo and likely 762 ammo as well for like AKs. I would assume that's going to be their main focus, but the language of this bill does open the door to a lot other ammunition falling with under these restrictions. Now, the main impact of this bill is that it says you could still buy that ammunition. It's not a complete ban on this, but you can only buy 20 rounds every 120 days. 
it's 20 rounds because in the state of New York, there is a magazine capacity of 10 rounds. This law says you can buy two times that capacity limit, which ultimately means you can buy 20 rounds. If you buy 21 rounds within 120 days, well, then all of a sudden you're magically a felon because of that one round. Why they picked twice the size of the magazine capacity, nobody knows. Why they arbitrarily picked 120 days, nobody knows. That's essentially how a lot of these gun control bills operate. They pick arbitrary numbers, they pick arbitrary deadlines and dates, and it's backed by absolutely no facts. The other thing this bill will really impact is your ability to train with your firearms. If you can only get 20 rounds every 120 days, then at the best, you could really just go to the range maybe one time within 120 days, use those 20 rounds, and then you have to wait again 120 days potentially for you to be able to train once again. And I don't know about you, but 20 rounds to train with maybe with my AR uh, one time every 120 days is nowhere near the amount of training that anyone should have that I would ever want. And so again, you can see how this will drastically impact your ability to train. This also leads to another critical issue in the fact that your ability to train is conduct protected by the Second Amendment. Uh, we saw recently with local governments where they were sued because during the whole lockdown situation, these uh, local government agencies, like for example, in California, uh, completely shut down the use of ranges, uh, gun stores, training facilities, things of that nature. And they were sued uh, because it was a violation of the Second Amendment because we have a right under the text of the Second Amendment to defend ourselves, to be trained to defend ourselves. And uh, these were litigated in various courts, in various courts at various levels, found in fact a complete closure in a complete shut off of your ability to train does in fact violate the Second Amendment. So this assault weapon ammunition bill does violate so many aspects of the Second Amendment. It restricts your ability to keep and bear arms because ammunition is an arm protected by the text of the Second Amendment. It impacts the commerce side of the Second Amendment. It impacts your access to self-defense tools in that ammunition to be able to carry that. And it also interferes with your ability to train yourself and be able to defend yourself in case you actually have to act in self-defense. I do not see how the state of New York could ever justify an ammunition purchase restriction like this under the Supreme Court's recent ruling in the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association v. Bruin decision. In Bruin, the Supreme Court clearly outlines that the government must justify their restrictions with relevant history and tradition dating back to 1791. And I'm not aware of any historical restrictions that would limit the amount of ammunition that someone could buy and then put an arbitrary date time frame on it and say you can only buy 20 rounds every 120 days. I am not aware of any historical analogs that ever point to anything like that. So if this gets passed, I have no doubt that the state will in fact be sued by GOA, FBC, SAF, so many others, uh, but let's hope it never gets that a point. So if you're in New York, please contact your local representatives. Let them know that you oppose that Senate bill, that Senate proposal 929, and that let them know that they must oppose this because from my experience being in California, you don't want ammunition restrictions. We have a background check system, a restriction on being able to buy it and get it delivered to our doors. Um, this would be even more strict. It would pretty much prohibit you from being able to purchase any ammunition, and it would pretty much limit you to only having maybe 20 rounds of air ammunition every 120 days, which is absolutely ridiculous. So this is something we will definitely be keeping our eyes on. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I will try to answer to the best of my ability. Also, if you like this video and you would like to support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to like, comment, and subscribe. All those things help to fuel the algorithm or fuel Al Gore's rhythm. It adds fuel to his jet and signals to YouTube that you guys see value in these videos and in this type of two-way news. As always, I wanna thank everybody who likes, comments, subscribes, who hits the notification bell, who shares these videos. You guys are directly impacting these videos impacting this channel and helping me to reach and educate more people than I could ever do on my own. So as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and never forget this nation was built by armed scholars and this nation will be maintained by armed scholars.